Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, subscribe for more golf videos every week. Heading to Terra Edie. I'll be honest, I don't know about you guys. I'm nervous. I am nervous. I, the last time I was nervous was last April. Do you think Terra Edie will be high expectations over deliver? Yes, that's, I'm calling it right now, 100% it's gonna be exorbitantly high expectations that are gonna get blown out of the water. That's how high my expectations are. I'm also worried that I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'm like worried that either I'm gonna mess it up or like it's not gonna live up to the expectation and, I, and it's like that's, a, I don't know if that's unique to me. That's the sign. That's the sign that you know you're at Terra Edi. Members and guests go straight. Hi, yeah, this is the Eric Anders Lane crew. Just going to open up the gate. Thank you so much. Open Sesame. Mm -hmm. So, what's up with the uh, one-time experience? Is that a thing? <laughs> That's definitely a thing. Um, it kind of just leaves us being exclusive, and it's a bit of a tease for everyone that gets to play here, so they know they can't come back. <laughs> so basically, anybody can write a letter and get to play here once. Your, your club, your home club, writes your letter, and then after that, you get to play here once, and then you can be a member if you want to keep playing. <laughs> but you can't come back as a guest. You can come back as a guest, so if you buddy up with some members here, that's probably your way to go. Hey man, nice to meet, nice you. To meet you, Paul. Eric, how are you? Yeah, very good. Eric yeah. Davis. Hey Davis. Davis. Nice good to, to see you. you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. The boys. We have Colt, hey. Stewart. Yeah, yeah. If you want to have a bite to eat, cool. um, get out on the um, range, go start going down oh, the front go line. Oh, you can go with Matt. Cool. Okay. Great. And then Brian also can tee and then you can join you on the back nine. Awesome. Looking forward to it. And my fly this morning? Good? Great time. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. And you guys have had a trip. We must be what? Whacked. Whacked. Yeah, I think whacked. And then also you get whacked when you come through the gate here a little bit. Too, so we're like double whacked. <laughs> yeah. Cameraman in turn. Howdy, guys. Hey. Oh, you're the, oh, you're the guy that uh, Paul was telling us superstars coming to take pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's him. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. He's nice. Yeah, I think, I think it is. I'm Eric. Okay, Eric Paul Blackwell. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Hi, Eric. Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Nice to meet you. Well, hey, well, nice yeah. to meet you. So, nice to meet you. This guy is a world golfing legend. All right. So, uh, it's about promoting New Zealand. Hey, nice to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Play well, man. I didn't play, though. We were yeah. just taking some guys out. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. What's it like being the previous Prime Minister? It's good, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's probably better than being the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all that stress. You could argue. Right, right. So, what are you doing now? I'm on a bunch of different boards, so a group of different things, so it's good. You know, I was a commercial guy before I became prime minister. Sure, so sure, I'm sure. I've kind of gone back to that life. And you love golf? I do, I absolutely love golf. What is your favourite part about golf? I like the camaraderie and the sound of the of a great shot when it comes off the club. Yeah. So yeah, you know what's funny is in New Zealand, we've experienced more often than in other places in the world, you can hear the ball. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, I think it's just quiet, there's yeah. some density in the air. I don't know what it is. Yeah, no. I'm it's, not a scientist. It's a great feeling, but yeah. No, it's good. And you meet some good people. I mean, these guys, you know, you <laughs> hang around with them. But yeah. But, but every, t every club has the odd pe people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, we're probably gonna eat in a different area just because they're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're fun. So yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. It's great. Oh, oh, right, well, what should we order? We're gonna get some lunch. What, what do you I like? just had the gazpacho and it's outstanding. All right. And have that or the um, the fish tacos also. Really you know what's cool. great is I'm actually not a gazpacho fan, but I feel like if there's a place to try it or a person to recommend it, this it's here really in you. This is really really good. Trust awesome. me. If you don't like it, put down my bill. All right. If you do like what's it, what's your number? Put down my bill. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go in the shop and get a few things. Yeah. Are you? Don't right. no, no, I'll just say put on the front. Put on my name. That, that's fine. Don't right. be good with it. This is working out great. You come into places like this, I've done it a lot. People are not usually that nice. And it's and it and it's like immediately drops all of the fears that I had about coming here and being like, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that, it's gonna be that normal golf stereotype. But it's like I see untucked shirts, left, right, and center, I see people that are interesting and welcoming and nice. And I also feel like we're kind of in a Mars rover, and that's actually a hologram. 
So, like, I can't wait to eat the gazpacho that I thought I didn't like. I feel a lot better than I did in the car. This has got to be like, uh, I don't know, is there a feeling much more pleasant than walking out here for you? No, not particularly. I mean, this is, uh, you know, this uh, piece of property uh, got into my heart uh, a long time ago. I actually uh, came and visited New Zealand uh, first in, I, I think it would have been 95, 96, when I got here and walked up to the, um, you know, to the crest of the sand dunes and looked out. I said, holy cow. And at the end of the day, uh, ownership doesn't mean much because I can't physically pick this up and take it with me somewhere. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a treasure for New Zealand forever. Scottish people everywhere in this world of oh, golf. Oh God, so, yeah, I know, Eric, right? Yeah, Stevie Stevie Eddie, Eric, Hi. Stevie Mark, yeah, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, welcome yeah. to Tara Eddie. How Thank are you? you? Uh, that's good enough. I'll get you, I'll, I'll take you on my team. I'm getting picked on teams. Tara Eddie is my heaven. Meet Char. <laughs> Char, are you camera shy? No. We're good. What a busy change of a tire. So they come back fit. So I had no idea. Oh. Look, I was uh -huh. told. I was. I was told, and by no uncertain terms, when they're here, Steve, please. I would like to be involved in the group, not necessarily on your bag. Oh, but, I have no idea. So she is a big, big fan. So if you can give her like a little bit of time. Yeah, on she the way really around. Sweet. I had no oh, idea. Oh no, she's such. I follow. Look, and she was showing me yesterday. Look, and she was please, please, Stephen, can I go on this loop? And I'm like, yes, you can go on this loop. So I think you're going to be in for a great day. Take care. See ya. Dude. You don't just go to like nice courses around the world that are this highly ranked and get treated like a real person to the point where like you can't respond. You don't get that. I haven't seen it. Don't wake up until the flight has landed. Wait, are we already into an ace cam? This is the most ace call. Really? So we're looking at the second green, short iron par three. You've got, seems like three or four different teeing areas that, that move about 90 degrees. Never seen that. Have you seen that before, Paul? No. So we've walked 130 yards from our original teeing area on a 90 degree angle. Tom Doak has now literally given us a completely different hole. Already architecturally interesting. That's what's really cool about Rick's decision to hire Tom was just like, he said it was like, no brainer, right? Like didn't even have a question about it. Yeah, he was one, two, and three on Rick's list. Um, and the variety that he's thrown out here, it's superb for our members to play golf every day of the week. Right. They're gonna get a different course, different setup, and Brian does a great job in doing that. So it's awesome. Awesome. Man. What's your experience in New Zealand, Brian? You came from you were at Shore Acres. Shore Acres was a superintendent there. And uh Geez, I came here when I just about opened in 2016 for the, the Renaissance Cup. I mean, there's 450 courses here and 4 million people. I mean, it's a lot considering. Have you found yourself having a preference coming from America, which you prefer? Like, oh, I like this way better. Yeah, it's it's approachable. It's not uh, pretentious. Yeah, it's good. So you think New Zealand's figured something out in the sort of the way to preserve golf for the future? Yeah, and I think the bulk of the Kiwis really have a laid back sort of vibe and attitude and translates into the golf. I'm so grateful that like we're joined by like such a rad crew of like the guys and girls that like put this place together for Rick and his friends basically, right? That's uh, yeah, that's the idea behind Tari ED. I mean, they say no albums, but uh, they're pretty pretty strict about who they let in. So we've 
I've got 260 just to the front, so... Into the wind? Yeah, slightly into, but um, basically anything left of the flag feeds quite hard. In a good way? Yeah. Cool. In a very good way. Cool. Yeah. What is this, Brian? Yeah, it's just a little wetland area. Just all sorts of native plants in here. and I mean, the whole place is like the desert, really. And then you, you walk through here, it's always a little dewy, quiet. Yeah, it's a little different. 280, par 4, but Ace Cam has been enabled. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Oh, that's really good. Kick me if he's playing the course, folks. Doable. Ryan, how many hole in ones you got? Two hole in ones. Two, right. I think you're done. I'm waiting for Paul to have a third before I have Are you um, laying back or what's going on? No, no. No, no. no. Come on, we need to pro-trace that. Come on. It is so on the stick. Oh my god. So oh. On. Landing on the green, curling towards the flag, it's long. You're, yeah, it's on. I knew it was too much. You're long. Time. 280 downwind, but still 280. It's okay. I mean shut, shut on my life, but you hit the center of the club face. That's what it's there for. Like you hit the center of the center of the center. It happens on occasion. Yeah. Okay, now give him the three wood. There it is. Where's the next ace cam? We're dying over here. So I played that that game, it's called Rick Wins. If I asked you to play two balls and uh, I get to choose the one that you play for the next shot, what do you think you would shoot? Uh, I played him straight up. My worst ball, his best ball. So I hit a great tee shot, he calls that back. I hit a, roll it in from 40 feet, I'll see that again. Uh, I think I was eight down after nine holes. Oh, if you told me which one count, oh, I'd play way worse. So, and I played pretty good. I was, you know, I was hitting it okay that day. So it is Rick wins, like you And what's saying. your handicap? Are you? Zero. Yeah. Straight up. So your worst ball, your worst ball versus his best ball, haven't got a chance. Yeah, that's not going to end up well for me either. I'll <laughs> okay. double my handicap right there. <laughs> Does he get two balls? Yeah. So he is he the one. devil or is he a god? He's a god. Dressed like a devil. He wears all black. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Williams here. We're in the uh, Golf Central uh, Tech Suite. Paul's telling us a little bit about the bar, which happens to be right next to the... How many track men do you have? Oh, it's a, it's a Flight Scope X3, but then we have... Flight Scope X3, okay. 3D motion plate. We're talking um, face to path. We're not talking face angle versus swing path. Face to path. It's relative. Tell the folks at home. Yeah, it's, it's all relative, but at the end of the day, the bar probably gets more of a use than uh, anything else in that building. We're gonna, we'll see that building shortly. Look, need, if you come to Terry Eden and have fun, that's fine, but if you come here to work on your game, then you are in the sweet spot, okay? I have no balls, I've hit two. We need to go rare, what do you call it? Golf training facility, St. Paul's Cathedral, or Paul's Folly. That's what Rick calls it. <laughs> it's underrated. Eighth hole is underrated, it says Char. I reckon. Because everyone just thinks it's so hard, but it's such a sick hole. Yeah. This is a good example of the golf course, you know, when, when Tom designed this, this place, uh, it's been in the ground now for some years, but it changes the evolution of golf, wind, sand, blowout. I used to be able to hit it on the green from here with a six iron. I now would struggle to get out of this with a 64 degree wedge. We're sort of 12 feet above the surface. Uh, so you tell me, is that cool or what? And there's tons of that around the whole property. So this place was built to evolve, you know, over you know, generations, uh, and that's just a really cool example of it right there. And that's only taken, what, three years, Brian? When Tom comes in, Brian, how, how much do you and Tom interface on how the course should evolve like that? Um, you know, I've only been for six months. We only really, uh, we played once when I first came and had a chat about it, and that was really, that's it for now. But I'm sure in the future we'll be having a lot of chats about uh, all the evolution, because like you said, everything's getting pretty, Pretty, pretty worn and everything will start to, to shift away from, I'm sure, the original intent, so we'll have to do something, but that'll be a ways off. Oh, 
Oh, oh shit. Pass. Someone yell four. Do I need four? to? Yeah, I, knew, I knew I was set up weird. I was I was probably lined right there. Okay. All right. mean, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Doug wants an ace. We all want an ace. Anybody else want an ace? Yeah, yes, turn please. On the, uh, turn on the ace cam. Let's go. Ace cam is live. Oh. oh, he was singing about that. That was a rusty one. <laughs> it's oh. almost oh. got there. Let's see what we got. Watch me shank this. <laughs> shank it into the hole. Mom's are a little sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so as the sun gets low, our first round, you hear that? At Terra ED kind of winds down. That's my favorite part of the round towards the end. Shots start to count. I typically birdie 18, as you probably know. Look at this. What are we looking at? Okay, so that's the north boundary of our property, and this is actually the area where the Taridi bird, or the fairy turn bird, which is what our logo is, Maori for fairy turn is Taridi, that's how we came up with the name of the club. That's where that bird nestles and breeds. So, pretty special place. Uh, you can see kind of that's our inspiration for what we've done over here. Everybody say what's up. What's up? Good game. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hola. What's up? What's up? What's up? How are we? Terra ED day one. Terra ED day Walking one. Walking up 18. It's unbelievable. You know, I mean, I said it before. The, the thing is, you go to a course that's this nice, that's this exclusive, that's this, you know, remote, and you think it's going to be, you fear, I fear, that it's going to be that typical kind of country club experience where you're going to feel mm, unwelcome, no matter who you are. I've learned that most places aren't actually like that, but you know, you come here and you worry that it will be. And first couple hours of Terra ED, I'm left feeling like I want to be more involved in whatever this is. You know, Mr. Kane talked a lot about turning this into the Monterey of New Zealand. I think that's incredible, and I think that there's an opportunity to create, you know, maybe some epic world-class golf, public golf, working class golf, cheap, inexpensive golf. I think there's a way to do that. I'd love to see it happen. This is an incredible spot. There's no two ways about it. Enjoy the walk. Paul. So, so nice. 